In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Namecheap email for your domain. Now, it's actually really simple and straightforward to do, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we've gone ahead and actually purchased a Namecheap domain. And if you want to go ahead and do that, there should be a link in the description. So once we've gone ahead and actually purchased our Namecheap domain, we need to go over to the Namecheap dashboard like I've done. And on the Namecheap dashboard, we want to go down to where it says private email. So we want to go ahead and click on the private email button. And then from there, you can see there's a little thing over here. This is the email. This is the domain, sorry. There'll be a few different domains here. We want to go ahead and click manage. And now if we scroll down, we can see there's a button here that says create mailbox. Now you can click this drop down top tab if you want to buy one, if you don't have enough, but I'm going to click create mailbox. And now it's going to ask us for the mailbox name. So I'm going to put a name in here. I'm going to put hello. So it's going to be hello at easyl.xyz. So that's going to be the email address. Now you can put anything in here. You put hello, you can put help, put info, but this will be the full email address right there. Next up, we need to put a password in. So you can either generate a password or you can just write one in yourself. I'm just going to put a password in myself. And next up, it's going to ask for our mailbox storage. So this is where you select how much storage you want the mailbox to have. It starts off at 10 gigabytes. You can go to megabytes if you want to. And you have, um, you have 20 gigabytes of storage that you're actually able to assign. So I'm going to go ahead and press save changes here. So now if we scroll down to the bottom of the page here, we can see the email is the, the one that we just created. And we can go ahead and go to this little drop down box here. We can click open webmail. And it's going to open a new tab. And basically here we put in our username and password. And we should be able to sign into our email there and access it. If you want to edit anything like storage, change the password or remove it, you can do that all down here. That's basically how you go about doing it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped you out. Thank you for watching.